Welcome to Tucker's Pond and Predatory Plants. This is going to be the late spring check. Just to see how things are going. So immediately we're going to come out here. We're going to take a look at some of the rock gardens that are out here. So this one right here, we've talked about this before. It is the Drosera filiformis. Uh, today is June 12th. 2021 and this uh, has really come out of dormancy wonderfully well it's spent all winter in the uh, in the pond and look how gorgeous this is right now so beautiful specimen been out here all winter looking great all right to the waterfall so the waterfall everything's looking good the, the moss has come alive there's a little too much string algae so if we take a quick look right up there you can see that's some string algae i'll have to do some maintenance on the algae too much underneath the lichens there so we'll have to treat for the string algae all right the uh, creeping jenny up there is doing great uh, the idea is to have that up there so it can hide the entire uh, plastic piece up there if you look up to the right behind the water or behind the uh, dragonfly the metal dragonfly sculpture you can see where there's some plastic still sitting up there <clears throat> now when we uh, started putting the uh, surface plants out here I had bought I had purchased one of the water lettuce and look how crazy the water lettuce has gone I put the water lettuce in here in uh, early May because right, the frost date for this part of Maryland is May 14th. So I put it in early May before that and uh, got lucky. We've got a ton of water lettuce sitting in here doing a great job covering. All right, the lily pads. So we've got a bunch of water lilies in here. Uh, there are three established water lilies in here. Uh, two yellow, you can see there's two yellow buds. They'll be opening up sometime this week. I've got a pink one and I've got a burgundy, almost black one. So lots of wonderful lily pads in here. All right, we've got a hardy canna lily. So that's sitting right there. It's uh, you know, I bought that last year that overwintered in the pond. It is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, back to the water lilies real quick. They, they also overwintered in the pond. So this time of uh, year, they're really coming to life. They're great. But they can overwinter in the ponds here in Maryland. Looking uh, right there, those are some dwarf cattails. You can see the cattails starting to grow right there on them. Uh, the difference between the dwarf cattails and the standard cattails the standard cattails are going to put in on a you know eight inch to ten inch uh, tail the, the the brown portion where all the seeds populate these are going to put in a more of a two inch ball the standard ones will also take over your pond the dwarfs will not take them over quite so much beside them uh, leaning over right there those are the iris they've already bloomed this year so we, we've missed that and then we've got the arrow plant. So the, the arrow plant, you've got it in bloom right now. It's beautiful. Another bud coming up on it there. So another marginal we'd really uh, recommend for the pond. Uh, you can see all the water hyacinth in here. Again, I started with two of those. And two is too many to start with. Those things multiply like crazy. Uh, we have European frog bit in here. That's what you're looking at right here. These are the European frog bit. <clears throat> Sometimes they call them uh, you know, U United States frog bit. But I got a couple of those. Fish think I'm gonna feed them right now. There is a dwarf day lily. So that's, or sorry, water lily. That's my dwarf water lily sitting right there. First year I've grown that one. I'm supposed to have a flower on that that's maybe the size of a 50 cent piece, or a little bit smaller. <clears throat> so things are looking up uh, pretty good this is another one of my rock gardens here you've got a Drosera rotundifolia coming up there really nice this is a 
about a year and a half, two year old pitcher plant. So one of the pitchers that uh, kind of fell over in the storm last night, it's, it's going to continue to go, but it's not going to stand up again. And uh, multiple Venus fly traps. Another rock garden there will pass over. You've got a monkey plant sitting there. That's doing great. Can't wait to see those bloom. This one here is actually probably in the wrong place. I should have it farther in the back or with the rest of them over here in front of the barrel. It's uh, taken away from things else. So once this one blooms, I'll probably cut it back or move it. <clears throat> this rock garden, that is a Saracenia feist dog. And if you see, there was, yeah, there was a dragonfly buzzing around. Uh, earlier today, I taped a, or, or I videoed a fly being eaten by this thing. So that was this one right here. All right, so this is, uh, the, the garden is doing beautiful. And then we're going to come up to, this is my uh, half whiskey barrel bog garden. So the uh, storm last night took a pretty big toll on it. I've got some uh, different uh, pitchers that are falling over, some that are working their way back up. You've got a dragonfly struggling for its life sitting right there, and uh, he's not going to make it. His wings attached to the, to the sundew. He's, he's going to be done for. Uh, different colors of these pitchers are just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the deformed ones, those were uh, deformed with late frosts, so this, they started growing early, and uh, the frost that came out hurt them. So inside here, just so you're aware, this first reddish one, that is a Saracenia uh, Red Sumatra. The next group that has that beautiful pink with the white hood there, that is Saracenia Fireworks. Uh, I believe they're called White Sparklers. Back in the back, that is a Saracenia Hank. Uh, that is from Saracenia Northwest. This tall one, that is a Saracenia uh, Conversation piece. It's a beautiful color. Uh, we've got a purple peeper back there that is not, it's got one pitcher that's leaning over and one's really starting there. That's going to be probably about a 36 inch tall plant. Uh, the one with the copper top sitting right there with the big mouth open, that is a Saracenia Michelana crossed leucophila. And then this one with the purple or the pink lips on it, that is a uh, Saracenia Johnny Wilkerson cross Saracenia lunchbox. Uh, the sundews we have in here is this is a Cape sundew. Uh, it's doing wonderful out here in, in the weather. Now it's going to have to go inside for the fall. You have a tall uh, southern thread leaf. That is a Saracenia filiformis tracii. And then over here, getting ready to flower, this is a uh, Drosera binata. And by the way, that's not a Saracenia thread leaf. It is a Drosera filiformis tracii. My, my fault. And then this one here is a Drosera. By Nada, Marston's Dragon. All right, another nice little sundew. So that's the pond. Uh, it's doing great. The fish are doing great. And uh, we look forward to uh, the rest of the summer to see how everything kind of pans out. Uh, and above the pond, we do have some grapes growing. Just putting that out there. All right. Hey, if you have any questions about, you know, pond life, bog life, Anything along those lines, let me know. Uh, over here on the right-hand side, i got a couple more rock gardens growing, and this is a, a lot of my uh, predatory plants that I have not potted yet, or have actually not planted yet. Uh, look, you see the one, the ones had a really tough time here last night. That came from the hard rain last night, flipped that one over. So we did lose a few pictures last night. But uh, I look forward to talking to you again. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me at Tucker's Pond and Predatory Plants at gmail.com. Uh, if you're interested in any of these plants, if you're living in the uh, Annapolis, Maryland area, feel free to uh, email me or DM me with the uh, Instagram. All right? 
Uh, until next time, good rowing.